Hello everyone, this is Shashank. I hope you all are doing well today. So, as you can see on my screen, today we are going to discuss another uh, concept of AWS S3, which is versioning. So, when we say versioning, what does that mean? You can keep multiple variants of an object within same bucket. So, when we say multiple variants of uh, object in same bucket, what does that mean? Basically, let's say uh, if we have uh, application.config file which is getting stored in my S3 bucket and let's say tomorrow I have done the deployment and I have updated my application.config file so with, with few particular uh, strings or uh, few particular additional lines and we have to store that to our S3 bucket again as a backup part so if your versioning is enabled, then you can keep the older version of application.config file as well as the newer version of application.config file. And in this way, you can like update and maintain multiple versions in same bucket. That's what how versioning works. So you can use versioning to preserve, retrieve and restore every version of every object stored in Amazon S3 bucket. And with versioning, you can easily recover both unintended user action and application failure. So when we say unintended user action or application failure, so basically let's say if someone accidentally deleted my application.config file from my S3 bucket. So is it possible to recover that if my versioning is enabled? Yes, it is possible. We can recover the older version or the latest version which is accidentally deleted by a user action. So we can easily recover that uh, data from S3 bucket. Again, if only if S3 versioning is enabled. So we're gonna go to our AWS management console and perform the practical right away. This is my AWS management console. So to complete the configuration, we have to go to our S3 services. So click services, go to storage and S3. So this is my S3 console. I have few buckets in picture. Again, I'm gonna take uh, config test 2011 uh, just for an example. And this bucket, as you can see, I have a policy document. So I'm gonna delete it as of now. We're gonna start fresh. Or rather, uh, let me check which bucket. Okay, let's delete this file. So first of all, uh, we have to enable the versioning before uploading a data. So for that, you have to go to the properties section and in properties, uh, you can see versioning option is there. Click that. By default, uh, suspended version is uh, selected. So you can click enable versioning and save it. You won't be able to delete the versioning part once it is enabled. You can only suspend it for a certain duration of time. So as you can see with the configuration, enable or suspend. So we have enabled the versioning. Okay, let's go to my upload section. As you can see, versioning is enabled, hide and show. By default, it is hidden. If you click show, it will show you the version, different versions of your document. So we're gonna upload one uh, policy file and upload. This will take few milliseconds. Awesome. So as you can see, my policy document is uploaded. Uh, let me give one permission. Everyone has read. I'll show you what policy document is consisting. So let's browse this. And you can see like uh, we have this much of data present in it. So this is one policy and few of the encryption command. Okay. If you go to the bucket and uh, overview section, if you click show, this will show you the latest version of my policy.txt file. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna perform some addition to my policy.txt file. So, okay. So let's say I have added a few lines this is my channel. Welcome viewers. Okay. I'll save it. Close. 
so my document is updated we're gonna upload the same file with same name click add file as you can see the modified date is 17 July 10.01 am and this is 10.02 so this is the latest file click choose click upload okay so 1.2 KB okay if you click show on the versions you can see that uh, the latest version is of 1.2 KB and the older version is of 1.1 KB again let's click this file first check the permission everyone read I'm gonna show you the additional line that we have added okay let's browse this file you can see this is my channel welcome viewers so the new line has been added with the same policy.txt file and we have both versions of the file present in my bucket so that is something you can have multiple variants of the same file or same config file within same bucket now what if I delete one of the file so click show and uh, or rather I would say hide it and I'm gonna delete the new file go to the actions tab and click delete delete here we go we don't have any file shown in my bucket so again click on the versions tab click show you can see like it, sh it is showing delete marker okay delete marker but still we have our file present in my bucket okay you can uh, like download it the older version as well as the newer version so what if you want to restore it you just have to click the delete marker file and delete it go to the show hidden and you can see the new file has been again came back to my bucket and if you totally want to delete so this is something when an accidental deletion happens you can restore the latest version as well as the older version and if you totally want to delete the data file click show and you can delete it select both and click delete and now we don't have any versions of my document in the bucket so this is something how versioning happens and this is quite important concept when you are taking backup like database backup is present in uh, my s3 bucket and if someone accidentally deleted and if my versioning is not enabled then I'll be into a trouble I won't be able to restore the database from the latest version of my backup or the older version of my backup if that is not present so that's it guys for this particular video play around with the versioning concept try to integrate it with cross region replication as well if you haven't watched my cross region replication video please do watch that video and try to integrate with the versioning concept because uh, to have cross region replication versioning is mandatory and try to uh, delete file when your versioning is enabled try to recover it just place out a comment in comment section and i'll be there to help you right away have a nice day bye bye